Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. It's time for a movie review. Today, me and the gang, we're going to be talking about Godzilla, King of the Monsters. That's right, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups. This is... Jelani Bullard. This is... Brooks. And we are going to talk about Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the sequel to the 2014 Godzilla movie, mm -hmm. which I've never seen. Have you, you seen it? You still haven't yeah. seen that movie? Yeah, I still haven't seen it. Wow. I felt like I knew the character already enough of Godzilla <laughs> that I'd be able to go into the sequel and everything would be fine. Different Actually, humans, right? Different yeah, humans. Yeah, honestly, you didn't really... Spoiler yeah, didn't, alert. Yeah. Didn't, you haven't missed yeah. anything. They, they missed caught anything. me up in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Immediately. Um, so, a big, giant Godzilla film with all the other monsters. King Ghidorah, Rodan, all that stuff. We're going to give our initial spoiler-free thoughts. Then we're going to get into spoiler territory overall. I feel like it's like most Godzilla films that I watched. It's great for all the monster stuff, but all the human stuff wears down the movie. Makes it like just kind of almost intolerable at times. I love all the giant monster fighting and all that stuff, but most Godzilla films just don't give me a, an interesting enough story with the human characters to kind of tie it all together. This was no exception. I just, like I said, I, I thought it had great CG. The monster fights were cool. Ghidorah was awesome. Like, fantastically awesome. I thought they, that I loved him. The way the powers and, and just eventually the way it all works out. And Godzilla's like, we'll talk about it in a minute. But ultimately, this movie feels long. It drags out for me. It gets boring in a lot of parts. You're just waiting for those, those nuggets of monster fights, which are awesome. And they are a lot once they start. But it takes a long time to get there. And then they take a lot of breaks from them. So overall, I just... Uh, I'm kind of wishy-washy about this movie. What do you think, Jelani? I'm the same way. It's it, it's very choppy. It's it, like it, it's like two movies smashed together. And Godzilla shouldn't feel like a it should feel like a monster movie. I want to feel dread with my characters. I want to feel that that anxiousness that you get if you're gonna show me the ground people. You need to show me the ground people, and like they need to be running and screaming and and. All this, the, the things that kind of are lacking in this film. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going to put humans in it, give me a story I care about. And I don't care about anybody in this movie. Like, uh, they make you feel for one character. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm like, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, whatever. <laughs> and and you, you you can't wait to get to the monster scenes. Because the, the fight scenes are awesome. Yeah. The, the 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 monster Godzilla looks great. Just looks just like the one in uh, 2014. Okay. The the it, he's huge. It's now. huge. He's huge. Same Look at face. That Godzilla. He's, he's, huge. Been, he's been down there in his subterranean place, like yeah. just lifting, lifting. He's just yeah, hoisting, getting stronger. He just walks up to Ghidorah. You even lift. <laughs> yeah. You even lift, bro. But he's a bro, dude. And it's, I mean, I, I loved all of the monsters, the way they looked. Uh, I love they had a Moto again, um, the villain from the last one. Uh, they had uh, or Muto, or from Muto. I think it was a Muto. Mm -hmm. But then there's like the spider. Oh yeah, the, the one that was kind of like yeah, yeah. It had like the chopper mouth. There was like a yeah. woolly mammoth kind of. Yeah, it was that a woolly was mammoth. Cool. I like that. Yeah, one. I was like, that's what I like. We're spoiling stuff. Yeah, for you. but so overall, there's still monsters. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but to bring it back, it's just it's two different movies smashed together, and the characters, the human characters, kind of drag this movie out. Mm -hmm. Their their motivations are stupid. Uh, the people that survive what they survive shouldn't have survived. I will talk about that in a minute. There are a lot of people that should be dead. Like, and, and you want that in a Godzilla movie. Yeah. So if okay. you have one point of view, it'd be nicer. But okay. they have no tie-in. What about you, Brooks? What did you think about Godzilla, King of the Monsters? Well, I actually pretty much agree with you. All. You know, the, the monster fight stuff is great. The, uh, the story is lacking. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. I wasn't bo as bothered by it really. I thought it was all right. It was serviceable. Okay. You know, to get me from, like you know, monster fight to monster fight. And I didn't think it was terrible. It was you know kind of slow and a little boring. And most like you know a lot of it's them expositing on you know. Yeah. You know, giving us information. Yeah. But it didn't bother me as much, and it does have it had some really good images. Like there's an image where Ghidorah is like standing on top of the hill and his wings are spread out and he's yeah. shooting like yeah. that. And the foreground like there's like the cross from yeah. the uh, steeple yeah. of the church. Yeah, that, that was, was cool. That was really cool. It's a nice scene, man. Yeah, there's some real great parts where it yeah. really shines. There's some great gems in this movie, but it just took a long time to get there. 
they have like probably I would say like good three different human stories going yeah, around. But and they they kind of they they interlace nice, but none of it was interesting at all to me. None of the characters. Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. Uh, every and, character I mean, is forgettable. Yeah. Every character is forgettable. And, and there's really and no point for gone. any of them to be there. The yeah. only point for Millie Bobby Brown to be involved at all is to have Millie Bobby Brown yep, in the movie. That's it. But I she, guess that's enough. Well, you gotta have a kid. You gotta have a kid actor. Yeah. Let, well have now we're gonna be getting into spoiler territory here, so consider yourself warned. Um, the whole. So let's get into this. I don't think that it's necessary to have human villains in a movie that has Rodan, King Ghidorah, yeah. and all these other monsters, mm -hmm. right? Like, I really think that the idea of this elaborate setup that this one scientist has come up with this this wave, this alpha wave, yeah. I guess, or something. And so they can control or call they the monsters. They can call the monsters. Yeah, they can them down. Them and, repel yeah. them or attract yeah. them, depending on what they do. Yeah, them. right? And so... And then, but this one guy, he's of course an expert because he 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 takes photographs of wolves. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so that the that guy from Friday Night Lights Cal Cal Chandler. Quali Chandler. qualifies yeah. him to to do. I'm sure there's something else there, maybe. Um, his ex-wife, oh, yeah. Millie Bobby Brown's mother, yeah. is actually an eco terrorist along with Mister Lannister. Yeah, Charles, Charles Dance. Dance. Hell and yeah, so, dude. He was the best part of that movie for I don't me. Think, okay, She's but here's the thing. Yo. All he had to do, he, he, he was, was like, great, we, need, we need a British stern-looking villain here. He'll, and that's what he was. But there he was, was nothing wasted. there. He wasted. was so wasted. They I, didn't, you, yeah. I like the setup for what's to come. Yeah. By the way, do watch, watch the entire the full end yeah, credits. They're in credit um, scenes. That, that was interesting great. interesting to see more of him. Really. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think it's necessary to have this whole involved plot with them e them being eco-terrorists and they're trying to awaken them. Just have the monsters awaken. There could be a, an earthquake. The, it awakens yeah. Ghidorah and he calls the other ones awake. I don't care, right? Oh, We're chasing oh, this briefcase. Cares. Apparently Millie Bobby Brown's character. I don't remember the character's name. I, don't, no, so, I, don't really I just like saying the name Millie Megan. Bobby Brown. I think it's Megan something, or something like that. Megan yeah, or, something like that, right? Yeah. Um, it's progress. so forgettable. <laughs> but, uh, They're so forgettable. She apparently knows how to use this case too. Like, I don't... I don't know. Why is what did you kid, think about the whole overall plot? Why is that kid? First of all, why is that kid there? Why is that kid like you got walking Millie Bobby around? Brown in the movie. Yeah, but you're walking this kid around like sensitive, like Titan government stuff, yeah. like top top should be top 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 secret stuff, and you got this kid just walking around with it. Here's and a question: How to do all that? Here's a totally technology. spoiler question, man. Yeah, so we're at the moment when. When Lannister comes in, whatever his name Charles is. Charles Dance. Okay, when yeah. Dance. Dance? He was Charles like, Dance. Like Dance? Alien 3. Yeah, Ooh, okay. he was in Alien 3. He was in Yeah, Gale. he's in he's... Alien 3. Yeah. So when he shows he up awesome. and they kill all those people, he's on last action here. Millie Bobby Brown yeah. had yeah. run out there to protect her mom from Mothra. Yeah. What if she was still in that room? What were they going to do? Why were they. Why did she have to. Listen. Why do you why, have to kill him? Why do you have to have the box? Do you think those scientists would have been like, you know what, fine, just take yeah, us. Yeah, just take us. We're just bringing take <laughs> just take They have this box. They killed, was that dude that they killed was the uh, the, the the science teacher in Stranger Things. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Man, why are they going to kill him? Yeah, they killed him. Man. It was and Eleven did one. nothing to stop it. Nothing. Nothing. She has what do you think power. overall the, the plot? Like, just, is it, uh, was it just too much or was it much. just yeah, enough? It, it feels like, you know, they're trying to push a little too much of the... Uh, the human story in there. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, they could speed it up a little more. What's his name's in there? Uh, Ken Watanabe? Ken Watanabe. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's the, in the first the scientist He's good. the one that I says like he's the one that says he's the one that says he's the one that says he's like, the one that says like, he's the one that says 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 he's the but they, I love how they explain away uh, a lot of stuff that happened in 2014, how Godzilla was getting to places so fast. Because they go all over the world. Subterranean tunnels. And they're subterranean tunnels. But they explain that in this movie. Yeah. It's something that happened in Godzilla. Now, like, is a most... hidden city with like a Godzilla recharging battery? Yeah, and it actually yeah. has a battery place. Is like Watanabe, is he, is he the only one that carries over from the first film? I think film? he's the only one. Or uh, some of the I other think, scientists. I think the girl, the, the, the Chinese girl is in oh, that too. She was in Crouching Tiger, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the dude, was in it. the I dude that was in that. West Wing and Get Out, I loved him. Yeah. He was my favorite character. Oh, Bradley in the film. Whitford. Yes, he's one of my favorite people. I too. just love his delivery. I love Bradley. Right? Yeah, my favorite character in the movie. I would have preferred to see, like, give me that kind of a character. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't need somebody like, we're going to have to kill Godzilla and kill my boy. Right. <clears throat> you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, and they listen to that dude. Like, these dude. military because, people, scientists. Because he studies <clears throat> wolves, man. I guess. Obviously, it's the is same that, thing. Is that his qualifications? Yeah, I That's guess. All they are. That's what I got from the movie. We didn't know well, he the worked with his wife on the, the on thing. On the orca thing. Was, because it's all based to... on herd mentality or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Which apparently about wolves is not really necessarily but that apparently, true. Apparently, like, monsters. Right? So apparently, the whole alpha wolf thing apparently is not really. I don't know. Did I read it's something? It's an alpha male. There was an alpha male fight. King, King. I know, I get that. But I'm just saying, down. I think even in the wolf packs, I think they're learning that it's not quite what we think. Yeah, I think maybe I, I don't know. I digress. I've pack mentality. I don't know. I Thanks, do like Bill Nye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, what else to talk about in this movie? Let's it's talk so about the much. monsters themselves. Yeah. Let's talk about them. What was your favorite oh, yeah. monster? Mine, Ghidorah. Man. Ghidorah was awesome. That's an awkward shape, first of that all. That is. They made him look so creepy. There were moments. They did a great job in this film with perspective. Mm -hmm. They did. Making the monsters seem yeah. so, big. so big. At first, like I thought he was kind of small because you know it just showed the heads and yeah. the necks. But then when he like you know when he spreads his wings, it's like oh. Oh, dude. Yeah. When those He's heads amazing. came down, I got the same feeling I got inside when I watched Gremlins and when I watched Jurassic Park and the Raptors show mm -hmm. up. Like, and anybody who pays attention to PCP <laughs> knows that that's deathly it's terrifying scary. to me. Like lizards. It's insane. Lizards, man. Yeah. And lizards with I sharp don't claws. I do man. lizards, man, with claws in the eyes. Yeah. Don't trust the eyes. And when they tell you, no, stay still, it won't see. Or hide that's to our bullshit. Lizard anyway. Um, so I thought that that was done very well, and and the the, the mm -hmm. electricity, and yeah, all that stuff, man. I loved, loved how good. Yeah. I, that, that stuff was so was freaking awesome, awesome yeah. man. Rodan looked. Rodan pretty, was awesome. Rodan looked cool. That, I loved how I he loved was it trailing the, the volcano. He was trailing all the fire. Uh, yeah, and he did the spin and hit all those planes yeah. at once. Oh, that was clean. Yeah. What? Who'd you? Yeah. Like? I think Rodan was my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Just going over. Whole cities yeah. just burning Man, out of the coming out of the volcano. His waves were killing yeah. people, like yeah. pulling them off the ground. I and loved he was, it. He was actually kind of the bitch of the movie, though. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. Mothra, yeah. Mothra pumped him pretty yeah. bad. Man. And then, of course, there's Mothra. Mothra, and Mothra he, is awesome. Peter, I kicked his ass early on. Yeah. yeah. Mothra is great. Mothra in the movie. died, I guess. Well, I she so. sprinkled something she... on Godzilla, so that's going to like cause her to be. It's Godzuki. Is gonna be God next, Zuki. It's gonna be in the next one. <laughs> it's gonna be in the next one. Oh, uh, the other monsters, no. like they used the mo the, yeah. the villain from the last one. Yeah. They had the woolly mammoth one. They had the yeah. spider dude. They barely showed them. Right. And they no mentioned Kong. King Kong a lot. King Kong yeah. a lot. Because the and next film, the, credits. Oh, the next credits. yeah, the next film is going to be King Kong versus, King Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla. We know that. Um, but the I end credits that. was awesome when it's teasing Mecha. <laughs> yeah. The deer. You're gonna, yeah. Oh. We'll take it. Uh, dude, I'm telling you, though, Gadira's head, his eyes, like, ugh, it creeped me out. And I loved how all three of them had, like, distinct, dude, when it was, yeah, like, oh, the, 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 it's, like, it's like the heads were, like, the three stooges in the middle yeah. of his mo. Yeah. So, like, he's always be grabbing one of the other ones and, like, just yeah. biting. And yeah. he got rid of Curly and Shimp had to show up. Yeah. That's true. Right? That's what happened yeah. there. That yeah. was crazy. Was I wasn't cool. expecting that. Why I not? That I should have been. Um. So, the action, it's action-packed. It's got a lot of big, exciting monster um, fights in love it. Love the monsters, um, man. Love the setup oh, for the next one. It's too All dark. All the human stuff is it's dumb. It's too dark. Too dark? It's too dark. I didn't think it was too dark. The gradient is too nah, much. Really. They did the same thing in the other movie, except they showed less of Godzilla. And it was darker for me. I wanted, like, daylight fight scenes. Like, you see in the old in the old Godzilla yeah. fight movies. Mm -hmm. I want to see them in the daytime running around and killing each other. That was, was all nighttime stuff. It was all kind of smoky sometimes. Oh, I like how Kong versus scenario. Godzilla to have it in the jungle, you know? Yeah. It was really bright. That could be Maybe, cool. Maybe, yeah, that'd be cool. So, apparently, the last movie was in San Francisco. Yeah. This one is mostly in Boston. Boston. It gets obliterated, including Fenway Park. Right. But, <sighs> kind of a night... Wow. Yeah, 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 that was cool. Anyway, <laughs> um, but uh, I thought that the, I didn't think it was too dark. I, I thought it all looked cool. It looked beautiful, and the music is beautiful. Yeah, and they used the, the original music. Godzilla theme. They yeah, used the original they Mothra they, they, music. They, they used the original Rodan they music. Did. They do a cover of uh, that Blue Oyster Cult song too at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I, cool, I was man. glad they threw that in there because I, I like that song a lot. Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I uh, so overall though. It seems like we're really hype on the monster bits, yeah, but not so much on the other bits. So now it's time for the ratings. Out of five possible you digs, Jelani, what do you give Godzilla, King of the Monsters? Oh, and by the way, before you do that, the end of the film, mm -hmm. the legit, like the actual end of the film, when Godzilla wins, they all come and bow to him, and then the title comes up. Yeah, powerful. It yeah. was. Powerful. 
Powerful. Yeah. So I love you, the monsters. So what do you rate? That. Uh, it's it's gonna be a three. Three. It's an average film. I'll watch it again, but I have to fast forward through it through the human parts. Yeah. Because they have no motivations. I don't care about what they're doing. Gotcha. And some of the things are okay with with um. Ken Watanabe, I like how he connects with the characters, or connects with Godzilla. The sacrifice was a little The sacrifice was too much. I'm like, if it's but that hot, that much pressure... He should have been dead already. Like, the moment... Like, he should have like, been melted. How did he take his mask off? Yeah. Why did you just not leave the bomb, like, right there and just get the hell out of there? But we can't be too hard. I like Armageddon. So, yeah, uh, so three. Yeah. Three, that's respectful, three though. Three is average. Yeah. That's all That's all solely that's, on the monsters, isn't it? It's the monsters. It's, yeah. all, it's, it's only half. Would you say this is, like, the it's, best realization of the mo- giant monster fights on film so far? Yeah. I mean, they like I say, I think they need, like, a lot more money. I mm-hmm. think... I think Disney should take over this this part because... They Maybe need, they should get Tom Cruise. They need that. Yeah, they need Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise would help. But, yeah, it needs a budget. It needs more of a budget. Okay. I, I think... I love the monsters, but the monsters, yes, this is the best little alliteration of them. But, I think with a little more money, they can make those things, like, pop. Yeah. Like, they look re- kind of real, but you really, I could, really couldn't tell. I think sometimes you need practical effects... To show the gravity of what they're doing. Well, you want doing. a dude in a suit, man? Yeah. I want a dude, I want a dude in a suit, man. No, I don't. Work I just suits want... in suit? <laughs> they thought they were just suits. wearing some really convincing suits. Yeah. Speaking I want practicals. of really convincing suits. Brooks, well, out of five possible you digs, what do you give Godzilla King of the Monsters? I'd give it a three and a half. Three and Ooh. a half. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I enjoyed it. I'd watch it again. It, it is a little slow at parts, but that's kind of expected, you know, with a movie like this, you got to kind of cool down between yeah. action yeah. scenes but you know I think if the story could have been a little better okay okay yeah I'm going two and a half whoa two and a half I think it's that two and a half is solely for the music and the monster fights <laughs> everything else about this movie is dull boring tedious and dry but the monster bits are awesome so that's the two and a half it's half of a film for me wow that is a half of a film yeah so but that half I really like. Now, ultimately, here's a question I want to ponder. Do we want a human element in Godzilla films? Or do we just... Because everybody always has a problem with this. I think we this. do, but we want to be did. good and actually tie in. Yeah, with, they don't know, need to be around all the time. A lot of time, like, the human element is, like, just reacting to whatever Godzilla is doing. Yeah. Yeah. And they were so blasé about it. That's the other part I couldn't stand. Like... I didn't buy her motivation yeah, either when she turned. They're just... Yeah. I'm like, oh, releasing um, this is going to bring balance to the earth. No, it's not. And now you're surprised that it didn't. Yeah. You let giant monsters free. Uh, yeah. A giant monster free to open other giant monsters. It was so much work. And then they're surprised when it all turns to crap. I hated that. Oh, my God. It was yeah. awful. So. I hate that story. <laughs> three? Yeah. Three and a half. Yeah. Two and a half. For an average of three, which means Jelani was right. Yeah. For an average of three. Anyway, that's what we thought about Godzilla, King of the Monsters. We're really excited about the setup, though, for the sequels with King Kong and Mega Godzilla, uh, yeah, Mega Ghadira. Mega. Huh. Monster awesome, Zero. Super so cool. cool. I'd like to see Biollante. Yeah. That'd be cool. I, I like, want to see this. this I want to see this actually be a good cinematic a, yeah. universe. But, like. You can do this. It's still. It feels a little it's too just, Transformers. Yeah. Where you never care about the human it's element. It's beige. Yeah. yeah. It's very huh. beige. Yeah, it's going to be. That's hard to figure out. Pay attention to something like Independence Day. Yeah. We care. Yeah. About we care about anyway. those people. Right. We yeah. certainly did. Yeah. Maybe they need yeah. Will Smith in the next. Yeah. Film. Anyway. Welcome to Earth. Let us know what you thought about the film in the comments down below. We'll be back next week to be talking about X Men: Dark Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Very excited for that one because that means it's finally over. It's done. It's finally over, and no we can more. move on to the X Men and the MCU. Anyway, so. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups. This is... Jelani Bullard. This is... Brooks. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and join us over at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. New podcasts coming out very soon. Brooks is on it. It's all about X-Men, so be there or be square and not an X. X gets the square. What? Anyway, you guys like Hollywood squares. So do we. Tell us about your love in the comments down below. You dig? <laughs>